starting to see him closely or slowly but surely going back to like his uh, his uh, result wise of Smash Four. And the, you know the nerfs of Luigi definitely hit him pretty hard. Like the Cyclone nerf for sure, not being able to rise with the Cyclone or get Cyclone games, and uh, his recovery just being way more exploitable than it was in the previous game. It took him a while to adjust to, but Elegant firmly believes that Luigi is a high tier character and has the ability to perform well in these uh, big tournaments. Yes. So this is like his first big test today as far as bracket uh, opponents go, seeing if he can do anything against Sue's amazing Lucario and a potential Joker and Misor as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get the Luigi. Looks like there's a uh, pro controller on. Oh, oh it's Raito. <laughs> oh, okay. He's like, oops, sorry. Yeah, I really want to see this matchup here. It, I can't say I've seen the top-level Luigi versus Lucario matchup at all. But uh, it's it's good for Elegant because I feel like he's using, again, a character that can kill Lucario really early before the uh, percent bonus of the Aura Sphere becomes – or, sorry, the Aura bonus mm -hmm. on his uh, knockback and stuff becomes a problem. Yeah. And he, Elegant has shown that he's very, very consistent with the Luigi zero to, like, death combos. Mm -hmm. So having a really uh, early kill combo on a character like Lucario, very good for him. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see. I, did he, did these two ever play in Smash 4? I don't think so. I can't remember them ever playing. I know he's Elian's played quite a few Japanese players, but I don't remember the last time he's ever played Sue. Neither do I, actually. I'll have to think about that one, actually. But here we go. This is to make it into top eight. So let's see if SoCal can actually get a player yeah. into top eight today. That would be great to see. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, everyone wants to see hometown do well at, you know, hometown event. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, <laughs> the plunger is there, man. I love seeing that from Luigi. Just such an interesting thing that not a lot of other characters have in this game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that conditioning with the Zare to try and get something going, and he's still able to oh. chase with the dash attack. Trying to pressure the shield with the staggering of the jab pressure. Susie's through it, though. Oh, the cross up! Oh, whoa, not going to die, okay. but the cross up of the jab going behind Sue and then turning around up beating him. Very uh, close to dying really early, and that's exactly what Elegant wants. Be honest with me, Strides. Did you know that crossed up? Because I sure as heck did oh, not. <laughs> yeah, I, that was a thing in Smash 4 as well. Mm -hmm. His, the animation slightly pulls him forward, so it can actually go behind people's shield. Okay, okay, gotcha. All right, here we go, though. Got himself out of a lead situation. Going to get hit by Aura Sphere. So oh. now this is really scary. Wow, nice down air covering the air dodge perfectly. Great stuff from Suki in the first dock. Yep. All right, there we go. Down throw into the Cyclone. That'll wow. do it. Wow. Nice. That's exactly what he needs to be able to silly stocks before uh, he can take advantage of the aura bonus. Mm -hmm. I think having a consistent kill confirm like that is actually going to be really good big against a character like this. Yeah. It's one of the things I made uh, in the previous game. Um, Lucario DK, one of the, his worst matchups because mm -hmm. he would die so early off the like, kill confirms, like up throw, up air. Yeah. And uh, Luigi definitely has something similar with that down throw, uh, down B and up B. Mm-hmm. So if it doesn't work out, I can imagine him potentially going to one of his other characters, to be perfectly honest. But here we go. Putting him off stage one more time. Will he get an opportunity to get something? Not quite. Sue just slips right by. Okay. God's going back and forth in neutral right now. Both of them just really doing a good job of combo the other and playing safe at the same time. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily taking advantage of anything they hit so far. But great Zare to stop the up B. So trying to get something here. He's getting the slight damage with the Zare. I'm, I'm glad that the utility on that is being explored a little bit more. Yeah, it's cool that Luigi actually has a decently long-range option to poke with in the Smash game. He doesn't mm -hmm. really have that before. Yeah. But living the down throw down B, or the nair down B. Yeah, still not yeah. enough to take it, but he's got a slight lead, but you see that Aura Sphere is... Oh, oh, he had no more visibility at the ledge, and Aura Sphere actually hits below the ledge. That was actually super smart from Sue. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he was reacting to him, like, his little flicker of his invincibility going away. Yeah. But there's the up smash, catching the jump immediately. These guys, again, just going back and forth. No one letting the other just really hold their lead for too long. This is exactly what I wanted to see, like, a really even top eight qualifier match. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going down to the wire here on this first game. There. Nice catching the landing with the Nair as well. Just getting these little two piece combos. Tech chase. Tech chase? Oh, oh, jab reset. Or going to go for the dash attack. I thought he would go for a grab to get some actual uh, edit damage. Mm -hmm. Either that or I thought he was just going to go for a B afterwards to get guarantee some extra damage. But not quite yet. He's got another opportunity here. Yeah, just uh, whacking him with that fair. Just able to meet him on the air to air combat. And they have, like, similar aerial drift. Like, they're both pretty slow in the air. So it actually kind of works out for Luigi since he has a fast uh, aerial approach option like that. Exactly. 
Oh, hits him with the up B, though. I thought he was going to get a punch on that. Oh, my goodness. So scary. Yeah, I thought that was an up B for sure, actually, from Elegant. Not quite going to throw it out. And actually beats him out, the back air beating out that aura sphere. Oh, so scary. Woo! Oh, the pivot. He thought he could cross up him with the roll, but the pivot up smash actually caught it. Oh, my goodness. Had no more invisibility on that roll. Mm -hmm. Sue catches it really well. Reached through that option almost perfectly. Takes the first game 1-0 going in Sue's favor. That was very, very close, though. Yeah. So it was. Stage is going to. All right, going back to Final Destination. I feel like that's a decent stage for Elegant. It would just be very consistent for him to get the zero-to-death combo. I think in general, too, just in neutral and in air-to-air, -air, he's been working really nicely on FD. Yeah, I think this is a great Luigi stage. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Nice, back into the jabs, gonna go low. Yeah, Elegant immediately goes ham when he hits you off stage. Like, yeah. if he hits that spike, you are you can probably get like a double spike and just immediately end your stock at mm -hmm. low percent. Nice, catching the jumps. Keeping him pinned up the corner of the stage here. Not gonna get the cross up up he's looking for, but still in a good spot. Yep, just able to up B back to the ledge, so. Doesn't quite get a punish from Sue. Ooh. And then we got a big combo, doesn't oh, get the aerial it. up B. No hard punish though, but where is C Sue going? Going really deep, low off the stage, and just getting punished left and right for it. Mm -hmm. Elegant definitely not letting Sue breathe at all on this first stock. But, you know how Lucario works, that aura, even though he's getting all this percent, that's just working in his favor. Great parry, but not going to get the downer he's looking for. Ooh, so close. Oh, Elegant's got to be very careful. He's swinging for the fences to get this stock off, but he doesn't want to do anything too crazy because Sue can kill him really early here. Yeah, he's being oh. extra relentless. Wow, that sucked him in, actually. Got another opportunity off stage. Oh, free punish on the double Ooh, team. I yeah. wonder what Sue was reading there. I mean, I think he was thinking that this guy is literally just pressing so many buttons right. right now. Like, he's being super aggressive. So let me try and jump in and, like, actually get a punish here. But Elegant just had the right change of pace at the right time. Okay, first stock going to Elegant yet again. Let's see if he can build on his percent lead. Luigi's punish game at low percent. Very powerful, but nice spot dodge. Not getting his, uh, his grab combos off. Mm -hmm. Oh, barely misses the roll from the ledge. Oh, Ooh, did he catch like, the jump? I'm not so sure. Oh, no, he's fine. He saved yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, might, yeah. but he beat the up immediately. Wow, that was so good timing from Sue. Mm -hmm. Very nice stuff. I mean, that's got to be one of those things. I mean, I feel like in Smash 4, it was a little bit more difficult to exploit Luigi's recovery. In this game, definitely very easy to do. Yeah, before he had that rising cycle and it come from the depths, but now he doesn't. Oh, the second hit in there going past Elegant's shield. Up throw up there. Oh, tries to intercept it with the Cyclone, but still a bad trade in Sue's favor. Elgin trying to find a way to approach. Sue just spacing him out with the movement, getting the Aura Spears out. Oh, good punish on that. Oh, speaks in the back here. Super powerful move from Lucario. Forced to air, air dodge on stage, and there's the misfire, untackable. We'll take it. The RNG is definitely in Elgin's favor. Yeah, the Smash Gods are smiling down on him. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> that, uh, that would have been such an easy edge guard for Sue if that didn't happen, dude. Yeah. I mean, you just got to be ready for that. I mean, it's all, fa all, all fair and war. Okay. So I charge at the side B again, but yes, easy edge guard. He's so vulnerable after he's forced to side B like that. Mm -hmm. Sue, another beautiful edge guard. Really showing how you, well you can edge guard this character in this game. Right. Okay, goes in with the dash attack. Oh. Wax him off. Edge guard situation. Nice down tilt positioning. Not going to get the down air spike. <laughs> Gave up stage control for that. Yeah. But he's still got it. Okay, he's returned already back into neutral. Nice. Oh, smash catching the jump. He's staying right under him. Oh, nice. Zare into the dash attack, keeping him off stage again. But he's, again, he's got to watch the danger of the aura of Kinek. But there's the Zare into Cyclone. 1 1 elegant taking that game. Adding it to uh, even 1 1 here. Yeah. Looking like he's uh, back into shape here. Oh, yeah. Very clutch. It always says a lot where you lose the first game and you're immediately able to uh, even it back up. Yeah. Not letting your opponent get like a 2-0 lead at all. Mm -hmm. It just shows how in the zone Elegant is. But I do have to really appreciate how well Sue is playing in neutral and edge guarding this character. Yeah. He's thinking about his bans. I feel like he might be banning the like the wider stages. I'm not sure because Luigi would have a hard time getting in, especially against a relatively mobile character like yeah. Lucario if he's able to use the Aura Spheres uh, to his advantage. Looks like he's fine here. Yeah, PS2 is a good pick, I think, even for Elegant, just because he's put on the stage so much, he's definitely comfortable in uh, 
in how the stage works. Yeah. It's not going to be him adapting to the stage, but more so just how Sue is playing. Adapting to the player, not necessarily the stage here. Mm -hmm. But this, again, a little bit wider. It's going to be a little bit easier for Sue to kind of wall out Elegant and force him to approach in some really dangerous spots, but applying a lot of pressure here on Shield, Elegant. Yeah, I mean, I, Sue is doing exactly what I thought he would do. He was, he's doing like the B reverse aura spheres and then like throwing out aerials when Elegant tries to approach, taking advantage of the wider space he has available. Yeah, see, he's, <laughs> he's just kind of running away from Elegant yeah. the entire time, it looks like. Yeah, not a bad idea. You don't want to just run in Luigi's face and give him free opportunity to punish you. Yeah. You see? He yeah. doesn't even try to um, push a, an advantage state. Oh, wow. Okay. Falling Nair into the sweet spot up B. So clean for Elegant. Getting the first stock only taking 55%. Mm -hmm. I think one thing we got to remember is that Elegant was one of the best people at calling out people on their defensive habits because before the answer to Luigi was, you know, to camp him out. Right. It's not working right now. It looks like Elegant's Ooh. calling him out super hard. And that fair actually sends him up. A little bit too high, but nice. yeah, there we go. Gets Again, it there. And the, the lag after that side B is super long, so if you just wait it out, you get a free hit, and Sue recognizes that really well. Mm -hmm. Pretty much every time he's been off stage, like, and he's forced to use side B, he's dead. So yeah. that's got is basically something that he's got to look for against Sue. Nice, using the cyclone to intercept that uh, up air. And another one off the top, not enough to kill, but that's really good percent for Elegant, keeping Sue in disadvantage. Yeah, almost got the up smash, but. Sue had the right spacing on that. Definitely fishing for the kill here. He's just going super cyclo and crazy right now. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I remember talking to Elegant and he said that, you know, I have to use Cyclone more often. <laughs> I was like, okay, sure. They did adjust it in the previous patch before he got invincibility through the whole animation. He only was playing on the ground, but now he uh, only at the start of it. Yeah. Still a very decent move, especially a good mix up when landing for Luigi as well. But here we go. He's got himself a stock lead here nice. and he actually saves makes it, it back. Yeah, yeah. save the jump and the side B, but wow, this goes for the misfire from the ledge. Why not? Oh, nice punish on the roll. Pivot S smash, only taking 7%. Sue keeping the game super even, man. These guys are so evenly matched. Where, like, Elegant gets the explosiveness from his combo, Sue makes it up with uh, amazing edge guards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every time he's in, finally, advantage position, then he's able to extend it very far. But here we go. A potentially nice. big combo. Yeah, big falling combo. up air to no back air. No percent taken from Elegant in a really good place here. If Sue does anything unsafe, he could be eating that up B, but the aura boosted, making his attacks very powerful. Great pivot on the landing. Weighs out the Cyclone. Big damage for Sue. Wow, Great he player. actually fared the he aura sphere. He actually had to do that because if he aired out, he would have died. But the landing gets covered by the up smash. Elegant going up 2-1. One game away from winning, moving on to the winner's top eight. And I'm really got to see him play this well. Because, like I said, he has been on a hot streak lately, winning like three locals in a row, playing some of the best he's played in Ultimate so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just can't get over that fair. Like, he whacked yeah. the aura sphere. And yeah. he had decent aura on it, too. Yeah, so it was, I was like, it was a relatively damn. large aura sphere. I was surprised that his fair just completely clanked with it. But that was just an amazing option choice from Elegant to get Let's back to the Let's go, Elegant! No bias. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't hear anything. Did you? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, back back to FD. FD. Uh, oh, I know, okay. I know there's a lot of Japanese players like this stage, or like Japanese stages in general is very uh, conservative, so they're really comfortable on FD. Mm -hmm. But uh, Elegant played super well on this stage, mm -hmm. so I think he's just fine going back to FD. Yeah, I'm not so sure what the stage list now, but I heard like in the beginning at least it was like game one Battlefield, game two FD, game three Stadium. That's like how it worked out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Moving on here, pretty even game so far. Uh, Sue kind of trying to employ the same plan, but instead oh. of like just completely camping the entire time, trying to weave in and out and actually get some like um, chip damage here yeah. and there too. Figuring out how to extend himself. Ooh. Oh, catches yeah, him. Yeah, the longer, the higher percent you are, the less invincibility you have on ledge hang, so you can't stay there that long. So Sue's taking advantage of that really well with the Aura Sphere. Just barely gets past that one. Elliot trying to find a way to approach here and make up the percent deficit. Oh. He had the right idea, catching the jump. Not quite there. Oh, man, the Venn diagram, dude, when they're both standing shield next oh, to yeah. each other. <laughs> <laughs> the Venn diagram, I like that. All right, here we go. Right. He air dodges the aura sphere. Oh, oh. but there's a trusted situation, but he oh gets out God. of there Almost just fine. Simple, but there's a grab. Nice. Wow, the down throw up B. He was buying so much percent, but immediately equalized it, taking the first stock. Mm-hmm. 
I gotta ask if there's a way to get out of that because that looks like it's pretty mess messy for uh, Luigi. But here we go. Gonna go high with the side B, saving his jump. Nice, right there, to lay it safely. Oh, not gonna get punished for his roll. There's a big hit, knocking the down air spike on that grab. That could have been huge for Elegant. Mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe the range was a little bit too high. He popped up relatively high on that down uh, down throw. But here we go. Oh, free punish. Ooh. Not going to be a kill, but dang, that was the most max damage you could have got on that. Yeah, very Two nice punish from Elegant. Rogue double team in Elegant's face. He hasn't got hit by that double team yet so far. Mm -hmm. I think Elegant, or excuse me, Sue was trying to wait for an opportunity where it's like, okay, he's probably not expecting it because we did it like only in game one, but actually it was a big opportunity for Ooh. Elegant. Waited again, but there we go. The dare takes him off stage. Try to reversal the situation, but Sue, one step ahead. And now Sue kind of in a good spot, really. Like, he has the aura boost. He can definitely do a lot if he can even touch Elegant, but this is free damage. Elegant's not letting him do what he wants to. Wow, that force palm is so far. Oh my god, the down tilt hitting him out of the up B. Wow, there's the tether grab coming in clutch. Other characters will actually struggle to punish that because he'd be too far away. But Luigi actually has the range to get that back throw for the kill. Mm -hmm. That was actually really good for Elegant. Yeah. Now one stock away from mining into uh, moving on to the winner's side. Top eight would be huge for Elegant here. Mm hmm. And he's catching him. Sue kind of having a hard time trying to figure out his way back into the neutral. Elegant suffocating him right now, not really giving him any room to breathe. And he just goes all the way across with that extreme scene, not taking any risks there. Yeah, this is big for Elegant. 80%. I feel like that upbeat should be enough to kill at this point. Yeah. He's got to find Down that opportunity. Or sorry, the Nair Cyclone. Stock advantage for Elegant. Just so close to winning this one. Going on in the win. Right, but the tech chase. Great use of the Zare to put him in that situation. Turnaround up smash. Two, oh, sorry, three, one, elegant.